the end of the year nearly here and it's not too late to start saving believe it or not or even making some extra money but how do we do that we all want to know let's ask jill cbs news business analyst jill schlesinger <laughs> is joining us live this morning we all want a little extra money especially at this time of year jill Absolutely. This is the only way. I'm basically going to bribe you to pay attention to this segment because I'm going to help save you or make you money for the holiday season. Are we? Do we have a deal? Good. Listen, <laughs> the thing that you can do right this minute that's really important is to go to the irs.gov website and you use something called the withholding estimator. You're trying to see do you have enough money set aside to pay a tax bill that's due in just a couple of months. If not, notify your payroll department right now increase that withholding through the end of the year and maybe you won't have to write a check. Now, if you're self-employed, you may want to make an estimated tax payment. That's possibly a way to reduce or maybe even eliminate potential tax penalties. Well, let's talk about reducing taxes. How can additional retirement contributions help you to reduce your tax penalties? Well, one thing that you might think about is if like, oh gosh, I might have to pay taxes. Maybe another way to think about it is you can maximize your pre-tax retirement plan contributions before the end of the year. Good news, you reduce your tax bill, but you also save for the future. Now here is a bonus. If you are just starting out, your adjusted gross income is $36,500 as an individual, $73,000 if you're married. Retirement contributions might qualify you for something called the saver's credit. This is awesome. It's really something left on the table. It's worth up to $2,000 for individuals, $4,000 for couples, depending on your income. So maybe you try to squeeze a little bit more money into retirement, a little less money, and the holiday gift giving. You know, pay yourself with Uncle Sam's help. There you go. And then that just gives you gifts down the road. That's for sure. Um, what about something else that some retirement savers can do before the end of the year? And if they if they don't do it, they might face a stiff penalty. So kind of walk us through that piece of this puzzle. So this is called a required minimum distribution for people who are over the age of 72. And the rule is basically if you have a pre-tax retirement account, an IRA, that you have to take a certain amount of money out every year. And that required minimum distribution must be taken before the calendar year end. So the problem is that a lot of people are busy, they forget to do this potentially. If you don't actually take your required minimum distribution from these pre-tax IRA accounts, there could be a penalty. And this penalty is a whopper gang. It's up to 50% of what you should have taken. So that is enough to get you to sit up straight and say, wait a second, let me make sure I took my required minimum distribution. Doesn't have to come out of every single IRA. You can take out of one IRA account to cover all of them, but please be sure to take it. Wow, okay, that's a hot tip. Jill, we appreciate it. We gotta think about these things before the end of the year. We don't wanna get stuck. Of course, you can catch Jill every, uh, regularly rather, on CBS Mornings and on the Evening News with Nora O'Donnell and of course, every week here on QC Morning. Thanks, Jill, we'll see you next week. Sure, thanks.